What's happening guys, Lawson here, about to embark on a beach fishing session, which I'm very excited about. But we have a sponsor for today's video, Deeper Sonar. Now, if you don't know what Deeper is, they are a company that makes a portable sonar system that the display screen is your phone and the sonar system is so small, it can pretty much fit in your pocket and you can take it anywhere you go. You can use it from the bank, from the boat, from the kayak, from the paddle board, a bunch of different applications. You've probably seen me use it before in my video. It's a really cool company and right now, they have the exclusive Chirp Winter Bundle where they're selling this awesome bundle right here for an exclusive time. And it comes with this sweet, sweet neck wrap right here. It comes with a thermos that I got my coffee in this morning and it comes with the deeper Chirp and the night fishing cap that you can put on it so you can see it when you're fishing at night. Very cool, very thankful for them sponsoring the video. We're gonna hit the beach and we're gonna bust this bad boy out a little bit and use it while we're out there fishing. But the main target today is gonna be Bluefish, Jack, and Pompano, I hope. Have two different rods, one big giant surf rod rigged up and then one little kind of Pompano goofy jig set up going here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this stuff in the backpack, hop onto the beach and start casting. We're gonna start the morning off throwing big giant top water called the GT ice cream. It's like a really simple top water that launches a mile. And it's great and I love it for bluefish. Spoons ahoy. There the fish. There we go. Nice. Oh my gosh. I have a bluefish on and there's something chasing it. Dude. Do you see that? There was something huge chasing my bluefish. Or maybe it's a little jack. It's a little blue. Did you see that? There was a freaking giant fish. I had to be a shark chasing after my bluefish trying to eat him. Look at that. Wow, and either a shark or a big kudo was chasing that guy down. First fish of the morning, beautiful blue off the beach. That was pretty hectic. Hey, look at a kudo. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Chelsea said she thinks it was a barracuda, not a shark, and I'd have to agree with her because. It didn't look like a shark. It was just like a big, giant silver fish cruising behind that bluefish. He absolutely hammered the crap out of him. All right. Next morning, <laughs> ended up getting caught up yesterday and just had to do a lot of editing and stuff like that on my Amazon series that I'm working on. I literally just have such a ridiculous amount of footage, it's like 10 days worth of footage that I've been trying to go through, so it's been taking forever. So, spent all day editing after a quick morning fishing session, but back on the beach, super cold morning. It's like 57 degrees. I mean, I know it's not cold to <laughs> basically anyone outside of Florida, but it's cold to me. So we're gonna hop on the beach, same game plan, sling spoons, maybe some goofy jigs, look for bluefish and pompano, Spanish max, jack revol, really anything you can catch off the beach. But I think bluefish, Spanish mackerel, and pompano would be like super ideal. Oh, absolutely perfect out, man. Holy crap. Okay. Dude, it is unreal beautiful out. Holy crap. We're gonna start off throwing the spoon. Look at all these little birds. Where 
I slowed down my retrieval my spoon a lot, man. show you guys what we're throwing right now. Two ounce spoon, 30 pound chloro, the 30 pound braid, 6,000 size reel, 11 foot surf rod right here. I think you almost have to like stop and appreciate the simplicity of a spoon and the fact that it still works so amazing. Like it's one of the best lures ever created probably simply because of how easy it is to work, how many different fish it catches, how far it throws. Just everything about it is simple in nature, but it works so well, man. This is crazy. Oh, God. That was freaking instant hit the water, slammed it. That feels like a better fish unless I've had a hook here. Definitely a better fish. Oh, he just came off. Son of a gun. Oh, there's another one. Nice. That was insane eat right there, dude. Holy crap. He like exploded it on the surface. Another decent one. Just hit their head shaking like an insane amount. I've already thrown three different blues today. I would have really loved to see that one really big eat I had. I assume it was just like a bigger blue, but this is a good one too, man. God. These fish are so freaking fun. Come on, baby. You're just cutting in the surf. Definitely a bit thicker one right here. This is a freaking stellar Florida bluefish right there, man. That's awesome. I could not be more stoked to be catching these guys. Third or fourth blue right there. Definitely the best one of the day. There he goes. Sweet, man. This day has turned around drastically. Funny, man, I got this big giant 11 foot surf rod and I've just been bombing cast all day long. But every single one of these fish that I've caught and that I've hooked have only been hitting 20 yards off the beach. And so now I'm just not even throwing far cast. I'm just like making tiny little flicks with my spoon out there and throwing like 30, 40 yards out and just cranking the sucker like it's weird. I've had two hit right on the bottom and then two hit on the top and then one on the drop. So it's like, I haven't gotten a total read on what these fish want, but bluefish are pretty aggressive. You can get away with moving stuff super fast with them. So we'll just stick with that. It's so crazy, man. Over to my right too. Like there's just a lot of fish, like a lot of fish going on right now. Over my right, like probably 300 yards down the beach, there's kids swimming and right out like 50 yards past them. Oh, there's just fish going absolutely berserk out there. Like, there's a whole school of them busting out. If someone down the beach has a freaking massive blue on, like a 10 pounder, I can see him jumping. Damn, dude. This is sick. It's happening, dude. It is happening. Big giant pompadour jig. We're gonna give this a few minutes. Oh my gosh, that's a fish on the pompadour jig right there. It might just be a blue fish. I don't know. Smoke the crap out of it though. That's crazy. That was my first cast on this big giant pompadour jig. And something just smoke the crap out of it. What's this gonna be? I don't think it's pompadour jig. I think it's probably gonna be a jack. Right family, wrong species. We are going to roll to a different spot. I popped it in our coastal and see if maybe we can uh, 
find some pompano and bluefish or see what's going on there. All right, we have changed locations here, hopped into the intercoastal side to uh, maybe see if we can find some pompano here. It's also going to be a great time to show off the deeper surf that we have with us because new spot we can do a little bit of mapping see what type of depth we're dealing with see if there's any structure out there see if we can even mark some fish and uh we're gonna throw this out here and start getting a reading here on our phone but something tragic did happen between transitioning from spots my boots my extra toughs that i wear in every single video ever were stolen <laughs> Every single spot I've hit at the beach today, I've taken my boots off at the truck, threw them in the back of my truck and walked down and went and fished the beach. And then the last spot I hit, I forgot to take them off. And so I just kicked them off at the stairwell next to the beach where there was a few other pairs of shoes laying. I thought, eh, it's gonna be okay. And I got back and someone stole my boots. Now, they cost like 90 bucks, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm more sad about those boots have been to Australia, Alaska, Colombia, Brazil, um, Massachusetts, Texas, Virginia. Like they've been everywhere with me. I've had this pair of boots for like over a year and a half and they've like literally traveled the world with me. And so sentimentally I'm heartbroken, but I'm also excited that I get to get a new pair of boots. I, I don't know why we're talking about, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's throw this in. really cool the deeper chirp winter bundle that you guys can pick up now i'll leave a link down below they are actually kind enough to offer a discount code to you guys that you can go click the link and pick this up i have one already you've seen me use the deeper before it's a really cool product they're super cool because they almost revolutionize what you can do from a shore fishing perspective where before when you're fishing from shore you're here and that's all you know is what you can see on the surface level with this you're able to bring a sonar unit with you wherever you go and map out anything. And it's super awesome for all types of fishing. Like I don't care what type of fishing you're doing, this can be helpful to you. All right, we're just gonna look for that drop off that we marked on our chirp here and just work this little goofy jig around and see if maybe there's some pompano roaming on the break off. Oh, I just got a freaking hit right there. Come on now. Well, threw our pump in a jig for a little while and one or two bites, but nothing really connected. But I've had my fill for today anyhow. All right, that is it for me today, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember to go check out the Deeper Chirp Winter Bundle down below. You can save 15% off using the code down below. I would highly recommend it. Everything you get in it is super cool. The Chirp is a insanely useful tool. The neck wrap is sweet and the thermos is killer. I had a super fun day beating down the beach today. It's something that I don't do a ton and whenever I do it, I always have so much fun and I think to myself, hey, why don't I do this more? So I probably will be. The winter time is such a fun time to beach fish. There's tons of blues, tons of pompano. It's just an awesome time. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more videos of that. So hopefully you enjoy it. That is it for me, you guys. Until the next video, see you.